Hi everybody. Um, this week uh, we had a lot more snow and so I spent a lot of uh, yesterday and this morning clearing snow away. And so now I've got a uh, pretty good trail up to the ladder. I reinforced the ladder so it won't slip down. Not that I was worried but uh, uh, sometimes melting snow moves and I didn't want to push in the base of my ladder out. So I'll uh, take you up and show you what I'm doing this morning. Made this trail a little safer uh, just by uh, packing snow down on some of the slippery parts and clearing off the concrete. But as you can see, there's a lot more snow, so I had to dig, I had to get through it. Now, I, my tarp worked really good. It uh, kept all the snow off of my scaffolding. And so this morning I uh, released that one corner of it <coughs> and then furled it up over the ridge so that I can work. And when I'm done I can just pull it back over again. So I'll take you up there and show you what I'm doing. On the way I'll show you the bracing I put in. Uh, some guys expressed some concern that my ladder might... Uh, get dislodged so I put those boards up against the ladder bottom so that I can't. So now we'll go up on top. All right we're up on top now. Just wanted to show you what a nice day it is. Uh, it's about uh, 28 degrees. Real still and uh, clear. No snow. No chance of snow. So um, I'm up on top of my scaffold platform and uh, I'm working on demolishing this ridge which I'm making great progress on. Um, all I have left to do is take this uh, blocking out that uh, my hammer's hanging on and then this last little piece of the of the uh, flange on top of this rafter. There are two great joist hanger nails in there that a little hard to get at, but uh, I'll do that, and uh, then I'll probably tear off this screen and this piece of ceiling board. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's what I'm doing. Okay, success. I've got the the ridge demolished, so um, I've got my ridge pole here ready to receive new rafters, and I got my. Uh, straps that I can nail down over the top. This uh, is going to stay and uh, because this OSB is okay down to here. So I'll make a square cut uh, across here and then interface the new OSB which will be on that rafter in there. That one will stay all the way for the length. But for this one I'll just put the new rafter right alongside of this one on the ridge pole and uh, the other three will meet these in a miter joint just like the original did and so next I have to turn my tension down to oh while I'm turning I should point out for you guys that were worried I am tied in um, when I was reaching out there I feel a lot better having a rope around me so the next thing to do is uh, start working on the bottom and uh, when the tree hit and uh, caved in this sheet metal it pulled these three or four panels up the roof. I don't know exactly how far they came up but a few inches so what I'm going to have to do is drive them back down so I have to be conscious of that and get new sheet metal that uh, will fill in that space. But I'll be cutting this off so I can work here. 
before I do that I'll probably lift it up and see if there's a possibility of salvaging it but I think when I lift it up those uh, standing ribs are going to be crinkled to where we can't use them so that's where I'm at that's where I am right now it's about lunchtime well I'm uh, sort of amazed and encouraged I just tried bending this sheet metal up and uh, it was amazing how easy it bent up and now the question is if I can uh, smooth out the crinkles and just uh, use more of this than I thought I would have to use. I'll have to see how easy it is to get this material and how much scrap I have laying around. I might just have enough scrap to finish it if I can salvage some of that. And uh, But if they still manufacture it and I can still get it then there's no point in messing around with bending this. I'll just cut it off square. So I'll do some investigation next week. Uh, right now I'm going to go in for lunch. Well, it's getting near the end of the day. Um, I spent quite a bit of the afternoon just scrounging for materials. I, I spent a lot of time cleaning out my pantry and got back in there and found an 8-foot TJI that'll work for one of the rafters. And I need one, two, three, four, five rafters. So that will be, I'll need four more. And then I found uh, an eight foot piece of roofing material, and I need four of those. So I only need three more. And I bent this uh, roofing up as far as I could, and uh, I don't think it's going to be worth trying to salvage that part of it. But I did go down and measure the other end of it. The snow finally came off and uh, those panels have been pulled up. That one is pulled up four inches. This one is pulled up three inches, two inches, and one inch. Uh, so those will have to be hammered back down, which is easy to do. Um, and then the next thing is to remove this piece of uh, OSB. It's kind of a heavy, dangerous piece, so I have to be careful, but I'm using this Bosch uh, fancy saw, and I'm cutting my way. It cuts through the OSB pretty well. Uh, cutting through the flanges of the rafters is a little tougher because it binds up, but uh, I'm not going to finish that tonight, but at least I have a proof of concept and it's going to work, so... Uh, we'll see what I can get done tomorrow morning. Okay, I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> but this is what I'm doing. I'm running this saw uh, up against uh, the crease in the OSB and in these things trying to dip this piece. Oops. a little awkward as you can imagine. Um, the saw doesn't quite reach everywhere and uh, but it's reaching enough that uh, I think I'll be able to get it down. I gotta make sure when it falls all these nails don't jam into my head and, and other hazards. But that's what I'm up against. Um, I may not work much more today because uh, the DNR is coming to visit. They want to tour the place before we uh, get started on a logging operation so I won't make much more progress this week on the demolition and the repair. So that's about it for this week. Okay, Go up on top so I don't get to this thing falling on me. And I don't loose. Okay, major progress. All right, <laughs> major success. A little easier than I thought it would be. Uh, I was able to cut through all of the 
uh, places you know where it was cracked. Getting through these uh, flanges was the hardest part, and then hitting a nail occasionally to slow my saw down. But I was able to uh, take that piece of OSB down without having it hurt me. And here it is, laying on the deck, all ready to lower. I'll just uh, get a lowering rope, one of these I have with a hook on it, lower it down, and then move on. So, uh, anyway, I got uh, I got the DNR guys coming out to visit in a, about an hour. They're going to walk the property with snowshoes and see what. Uh, my project, my logging project is going to be like. And so uh, I have to stop work. I'll lower this piece of uh, OSB and and then uh, go down and get ready for the DNR guys. So that's all the work I'm going to do this week. Uh, I'll be back again next week. So thanks for watching.